as you've seen in a previous video, you can combine a pair of vectors using scalar multiplication and vector addition to create a new vector which is a linear combination of the original two. For example, vector w is a linear combination of the vectors u and v, which can be created by applying the scalar coefficients 2 and 3, then adding the scaled vectors together. In fact, u and v can be combined to create any vector in the vector space known as r squared, if the appropriate scalar coefficients are applied. You've also seen in a previous video how to perform the same process in reverse, that is, how to decompose any vector in r squared and express it as a linear combination of two other vectors. For example, given the vector w, you can calculate the scalar coefficients you would have to apply to u and v in order to create w. This involves solving a system of linear equations, namely simultaneous equations. u and v were fundamental ingredients in the creation of new vectors, and for that reason u and v can be referred to as basis vectors. Any pair of vectors can form a basis for all other vectors in R squared, as long as they don't lie on the same line. For example, these two. But there's something special about this particular pair of vectors. For a start, they are orthogonal, which means they are perpendicular to each other. Secondly, they each have a magnitude of 1. A vector with a magnitude of 1 is said to be normalised and is sometimes referred to as a normal. These vectors are therefore said to be orthonormal. There are lots of other orthonormal pairs of vectors, an infinite number of them in fact, as you'll see in a later video. But what makes this pair particularly special is the fact that it is so easy to derive linear combinations of them. It's conventional to name these vectors i-hat and j-hat. Notice that i-hat has coordinates 1, 0 and j-hat has coordinates 0, 1. When used to create linear combinations, i-hat and j-hat are collectively known as the standard basis. They're also sometimes referred to as the natural basis. Let's calculate a linear combination of i-hat and j-hat with coefficients of, let's say, 3 and 5. 3 times 1, 0 is 3, 0, and 5 times 0, 1 is 0, 5. Add the scaled vectors together and we get a new vector with coordinates 3, 5. The coordinates of w are the same as the coefficients. Here's another example. The linear combination 8i hat plus 4j hat is a new vector with coordinates 8, 4. To determine these coordinates, we didn't need to perform any calculations at all. In this example, the linear combination minus 6i hat plus 5j hat is a new vector with coordinates minus 6, 5. No calculations this time. Decomposition is just as obvious. Here we have the vector w with coordinates 3, 8. It can be written immediately as a linear combination of the standard basis, namely w equals 3i hat plus 8j hat. And here's one more example for good measure. At a glance we can see that w is a linear combination of the standard basis with the coefficients minus 7 and minus 2, naturally. A discussion of the standard basis wouldn't be complete without saying something about three-dimensional space. Well, exactly the same principles apply, but this time we have three basis vectors, i-hat, j-hat and k-hat. As in two-dimensional space, these basis vectors are orthonormal. That is, they are mutually orthogonal and they each have a magnitude of 1. Calculating a linear combination of this three-dimensional standard basis is just as trivial as working in two dimensions.